Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Rachel Torres. This is Glow on Yoga. And today we're going to work our way through a gentle, relaxing, rounding, and chest opening ahimsa pose. Ahimsa practice. Um, this week in our Flow and Yoga page, we've been talking about the first yama or ethics or restraints of the first limb of the eight limbs of yoga, which is ahimsa. And it literally translates to non-violence or non-harming. So as we walk through this practice today, I want you to consider how you can practice ahimsa in your life, both ahimsa with yourself, with your body, with your thoughts, with your actions, and also practicing ahimsa towards other people. And just consider how practicing yoga is practicing ahimsa and how we are through whatever we're doing on the mat, harming our bodies or hurting ourselves, then we are no longer practicing yoga because yoga is a um, So wherever you are right now, let's get on our mats and find a comfortable seat and let's get started. Um, just take a moment, find somewhere that's comfortable to put your hands and then just start to bring your focus inward. Start to lengthen and deepen your inhales and your exhales through your nose. Start to notice how your body's feeling today. Start to notice what thoughts are running through your head right now. And then if there are a lot of thoughts running through your head right now, I encourage you to acknowledge those thoughts and then try to just Think them and bring your attention and your focus back to your breath, your body, what's going on on your mat right now. And if you're comfortable, I encourage you to maybe close your eyes right here. And really bring your attention to your heart center, to your chest, noticing the rise on the inhale, the fall of your chest on your exhales. maybe broadening your focus a little bit and noticing that it's not just your chest when you're taking these big deep inhales, that it is your entire torso is doing this almost like inflating motion where your chest, your belly, your side, your back, inflating, making space in your muscles in between each individual rib and even in your spine as you're doing these big deep inhales and then feeling everything let go exhale fully. That even sitting here, only focusing on our breath, we are still moving and working our bodies. That we are still practicing yoga. If you have an intention for your practice today, go ahead and bring your focus, your awareness to that intention now. Maybe in your mind, thinking what that intention is. If you don't have an intention, I offer you the intention today of grace, of compassion for yourself. Just contemplating the ways that we can allow grace for ourselves and allow compassion for ourselves. We're going to take one more deep inhale. Full exhale. And wherever you are, I invite you to bring your right hand down by your right hip, your left hand up by your left ear, and then on an exhale, just begin to slowly tip towards the right. Maybe walking your right hand a little further away from your body and going a little deeper into that side stretch. Making sure that you're keeping this nice opening through the chest and that you're keeping your left hip grounded onto the ground as you're doing this. And then on your next exhale, we're just going to switch. So we're going to put your left hand by your left hip, right hand by your right ear, and we're just going to tip to the left. Maybe walking that left hand out. 
maybe not. Just honoring whatever feels good in your body today. Whether that's down here or up here. Choosing what's best for your body today. Keeping that right hip grounded. And on an exhale, we're going to come back to center. And then we're going to keep both hands kind of lightly on the ground like this. And I want you to just begin slowly kind of working your shoulder blades a little closer together, creating an opening across your chest. You can leave your hands right here. I want to encourage you to not really press them in. Just kind of have them here for a little bit of support. And then, again, leaving them right here or maybe starting to walk them back behind you a little bit, getting even more of this expansion across your chest, your shoulder blades closer together. And maybe from here, we lift our gaze a little bit. Remembering that those inhales and exhales are deep, and they are moving. Stay connected to our breath throughout the practice. Just like if we're practicing yoga and we're feeling pain, we've lost our practice. Lost our breath. So, I'm going to stay mindful of this practice today to keep that breath moving. Wherever you are, keep that breath moving. Deep. And begin to slowly, if your hands are behind you, walk them back towards the front. We're going to bring our hands forward to cup our knees, and we're just going to start. Right ear to right shoulder, doing some slow neck circles. Starting small, maybe slowly getting bigger, and giving yourself permission to pause any spaces that feel good. Maybe need a little bit of attention or stretch or breath. Inhaling as you look up, and exhaling as your chin comes towards your chest. Next time, your left ear and find your left ear.
back to center and we're going to transition into a tabletop position. And if you watch my down dog video, we already kind of talked about how to set them up. So we want our knees aligned with our hips, our shoulders aligned with our shoulders, our wrists aligned with our shoulders. And we're going to really engage into our hands here, feeling that engagement through our shoulder blades, maybe engaging your core here, so lifting your belly button to your spine and up. And then on an inhale, we're going to drop our belly, twist our gaze, exhale, tuck our pelvis, chin to chest, feel the shoulder blades moving apart, to this cat cow. I want you to continue this movement with your own breath at your own pace. Again, feeling free to pause anywhere, explore, find some movement. Right here, you can lift to here, you can lift to 
here or here. Just find whatever feels good on this side. Note, noting that maybe what feel, felt good on the other side is not going to feel the same on this side. Maybe something that felt really great on the other side doesn't. Or maybe there was something that you wanted to try on the other side that wasn't accessible that is on this side. The two sides of our body are not asymmetrical and like as you really start settling into these yoga poses and checking in with how your body feels, you can really start kind of noticing all those asymmetries in our body and how even from one side to the other it is not the same. So wherever you are, just find a moment. Maybe closing your eyes. Deep inhale. We're going to bring our hands to the inside of our left foot and maybe need to heel toe that left foot out just a little bit. Planting the right hand, lifting our left hand to the sky, feeling our shoulder blades getting a little closer together in our back. This twisting position. Make sure in this twisting position, sometimes our breath tends to narrow when we twist our bodies. So making sure that we're still doing those deep. Inhales and exhales, and still staying connected to those deep breaths. And then if looking up doesn't feel good on your neck, you can always look straight out and neutral, or even down at the ground. So on your next exhale, we're going to bring our hand back down, and then you can stay right here in this lizard pose, or you can take any of those modifications we talked about. Maybe lifting your back leg, maybe letting your knee fall out to the side just a little bit. As we find a moment of stillness here in this pose, reconnecting with your breath and maybe bringing our attention back to our intention that we said at the beginning of our practice about how we can have more kindness and compassion for ourselves so we can practice our clean stuff. And maybe considering how the more that we practice that kindness and compassion for ourselves, practicing that clean stuff, that maybe that'll make it easier to offer that to other people as well, to offer that compassion and that kindness and that grace. Others in our life that we come to come back with. Okay, one more deep inhale. And exhale. And wherever you are, we're going to begin to come back to our hands. We're going to tuck our back toes. Bring the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Step back into a plank pose for just a second. Transition, lift the hips into your down dog. We're going to take one deep inhale and sigh it out through our mouth here. So, whenever you're ready, deep inhale. And loud audible exhale. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale. And loud audible exhale. And then, if your knees are lifted, we're going to begin to slowly lower them towards the ground. And we're going to sit our hips back into a child's pose. Again, feeling free to take any of the modifications of child's pose. I did a video last week that kind of walks you through all the different options that are available to you in child's pose. So just taking a moment here, in whatever version of child's pose you're in. Thank you. 
to very slowly walk up and out of this child's pose. We're going to transition to a seated position with our feet flat on the ground. And then there's a couple of ways you can do this. We're going to lower down onto our backs and do just a couple of postures on our back and then we'll be done for the day. You can either put your hands here on your knees for some support. Put up some head just go off again. Put your hands here for support or if you want to really rely on your corpus, you can put your hands together just like this in front of you, palms together straight out in front of you. And wherever you are, whichever way you're doing this, I still want you to engage your core. So belly button to spine, lift, and then slowly, 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 we try that to plant each individual vertebrae on the ground. One at a time. Adjusting your feet a little bit closer to your bottom. Bottom to feet on the ground. Maybe just doing some inches up here. So moving your knees to the right, to the left, and back and forth. Maybe going a little bigger. So like just a little bit of a supine twist here. If you feel really nice on your lower back. back to center. We're going to put the soles of the feet together, letting our knees fall out to the sides. Hands can release from the belly and maybe relax down. Palms up on the sides. Taking a moment here. Soften. Knees may be feeling our legs can be a little closer to the ground. And if this isn't feeling great for you, you can always bring your knees up and maybe walk the feet out wide and bring your knees into the middle instead. Or you can use blankets or blocks here to support your legs. Just keep them in the middle. Just keep them in the middle. Just keep them in the middle. Stay wherever you are right now, and maybe you want to start making some just small circles. Once you're doing those circles, make sure you're going in one direction. Pause and switch to the other direction. Shoulders to each side of the spine if you need to. I'm going to give you a couple options here to set up your shavasana. If laying on your back doesn't feel great for you, you can always take your shavasana laying on your side. You can utilize pillows, blankets, blocks to give some support, maybe under your knees, under your head, maybe you're lifting your feet up a little bit. You can also, if you like this bound angle, the soles together with your knees apart, you can put your shavasana. Or you can do this. You can stay right here with your soles on the ground and your knees up. Or you can bring your feet out wide together. Or if you want to do a full reclined, start stretching out one leg at a time. Coming down, pulling on the back, letting your toes just kind of fall to the sides. Maybe nestling your shoulder blades a little closer together. you now if you have the time to try to take 10 minutes in this shavasana this final resting posture of our practice if i haven't put it up already i will put something up soon about why taking 10 minutes of 
stuff and it's just a really good way to kind of root some of those physical and emotional mental benefits from yoga. And also understand if your life is busy and this is all the time that you have. Still giving gratitude and thanking yourself for taking the time today just for you. For practicing being self We are now to bring your hands to the center, palms together. Take one deep inhale. 